Hello there, this is Carlo. Welcome to a very quick, exciting video. Today we're just going to be looking at the interface and what it looks like. Um, Program Newt Studio, which is absolutely fantastic. So I'm just going to uh, double click on open it up. Um, this is a beta version, uh, which expires on the 14th of October, um, as you can see here. Um, so that sort of gives me some sort of inkling that's when it's going to be actually released which is great um, I'm hoping it's sort of, sort of around that time um, and I will be getting it I will be doing my upgrade on that so that's fantastic and obviously be seeing, saying goodbye to these guys here which have been my friends for a long time so I'm just going to load this up um, normally it takes quicker than this but obviously I've got the screen recorder open um, which not very good screen recorder it's okay Camtasia but Camtasia even if you've got a sort of fastest computer in the world seems to make everything slow down um, so Nuke Studio basically what it is is actually Nuke X um, and Hero uh, built into the same system so you can um, edit uh, in real time uh, basically uh, what you're doing and what work you're working on if that makes sense so as this opens up um, today hopefully um, we can have a look at the brand new interface okay so here we are Nuke Studio now I would say it always opens a lot quicker than this much quicker so this is great um, but at the same time this is a beta version so um, there'll probably be some bugs in it so on and so on so there was a project that um, I've just thrown some things into um, a sequence um, so you can sort of have a look uh, basically what the interface looks like so as you can see here we've got our um, hero um, section of Nuke Studio which basically allows you to work in real time um, from your node graph um, if that makes sense so as you're doing all your nuke stuff which is here um, let me just select this anchor spot I can throw this into here uh, connect it up uh, to my viewer and we can do all our pre-comp work um, and our editing um, straight in Nuke Studio which is fantastic and it's a hell of a lot quicker as well uh, normally I'd have to jump sort of um, um, from Hero um, to Nuke and vice versa but now with this program um, um, yeah now you're able to sort of work um, within Hero and uh, Nuke X from one program obviously there is a lot of extra features in Nuke um, Studio which I'm not going to cover in this video um, that will be um, covered on the final release um, of Nuke Studio uh, once I've got that I'll be doing a full um, um, you know look and tell you basically the new um, the new uh, what's the word I'm looking for new bits and bobs and, and new settings and new features uh, within Nuke Studio that's gonna make um, workflow a lot lot quicker but also it's meant to be a lot smoother and a lot faster as a program as well um, it's got built-in render farm um, which is great so on and so on so yeah I mean very very excited um, for when this actually comes out um, everything sort of in the studio sort of works the same um, so you know you do the old tab thing and then you'll bring, bring in your bits and bobs you just come out of that select that you know but like I say this is a beta version so um, there'll be a few bugs in it so I'd rather show you the um, uh, full version once it's released and hopefully I'll be doing that on the day of release um, as well um, while you know what it says to do you can automatically upgrade your new X uh, new 8 straight to new studio which in title it is actually nuke 9 um, so obviously when you download it and you get the beta or the full version you're going to be getting all these bits as well so you've got um, Nuke, um, Nuke X, this is your Nuke Studio which is basically Nuke and Hero built into one um, 
but Nuke X basically looks the same um, if I just load that up very quickly um, as the previous versions but what's really good about this when you're actually working in Nuke Studio um, if I close Nuke Studio for a second when you were so I won't save nothing there as soon as you open up Nuke uh, X um, you can continue your workflow straight away by loading up your project straight away in Nuke X so um, fantastic fantastic stuff um, so yeah sorry about that just had to pause it for a second because I've got noisy kids um, yeah so like I said it's whatever work you do in Nuke Studio um, as soon as you open up Nuke X you can continue your work purely in Nuke X only without obviously the um, hero part of the program and very similar um, I've not actually tried this yet so I'm going to try and open up hero and see if um, the work we're doing in our editor um, in Nuke Studio um, will continue um, within hero so let's just open up hero um, and see if that will continue as well because obviously we've loaded up um, right so open project uh, so obviously it's not going to do that which is great um, because you wouldn't need to because it's all in studio anyway so yeah like I say guys full review um, of new studio will be coming out uh, coming up um, on release um, of the final program so thanks for listening guys and I'll see you in the next video